Okay, welcome back everybody. This is CSIS 3020, <laughs> Web Programming and Design. This is week five, second video lecture. All right, so I finally was able to reset my password on my Raspberry Pi. And as you guys see, as soon as I hit it and log in, it shows me this coder page, okay, where <clears throat> you can actually update your coder settings here, you can create a new application here, or you can go into the hello coder, or the space rocks, or the eyeball. These are existing projects that were created already by Google developers, okay. So, okay, I got it. So let's take a look at the hello world. Something very simple, right? The hello world coder. So you go in there, and this is what it looks like. Okay? And here it is. So you guys want to see it live? You just click here. Very similar to W3 schools, okay? This is your HTML that renders this page. This is your cascading style sheet that renders that page. Okay? This is the JavaScript that helps you render that page. Okay, so you can actually modify, right, your code, your content, save it, and it will automatically show up. You can change your style however you want it. Save it, and you can see live and also the JS. Now, this JS is um, actually doing some kind of animation. Okay. You can also use Node. Node.js, piece of your program. Node is actually the JavaScript code that will get executed on the server side. So JS is your client side code. I mean, that's the code that gets downloaded with your page, with your HTML, with your images, with your cascading style sheets, etc. And it gets executed locally, while Node.js is JavaScript that gets executed on the server. So I wouldn't expect you guys to, to be building anything with, with Node.js at this point, because we're going we're gonna to be covering a much more simple language called PHP for the server side. But I think it's a pretty cool um, tool, as you guys can see. So if you start, like for instance, if you start from your template, what is your template? Your template is an HTML that you guys downloaded, right? It doesn't have your customized um, content, but you can always download it, paste it in here, and start modifying it, and see it live while you're affecting it. Okay? And that's the whole idea, that you can actually download your template and be able to work with HTML, cascading style sheet, and JavaScript and modify it live. 
because that's exactly what you guys are going to be producing at least for the la next two or three weeks just static HTML pages ten of them at this point you should already have created four of them okay and it's very cool because it's interactive you know with with Eclipse you have to modify it save it and then go back to your browser and hit it and see the changes here you see the changes right away and you can actually modify all three things at the same time HTML, Cascading Style Sheet, and JavaScript Okay, and it's using this really cool web server the Raspberry Pi Okay, $35 web server so that's what I have um, the source code for my project I will be posting it on Moodle okay that's the one that will contain um, oh this is another really cool thing I don't know if you guys have noticed you can actually change the look and feel of your Moodle if you want to I found this theme called Afterburner it's the same Moodle but you guys can change your uh, your uh, I think it's in the profile I can't remember where it was that I found it um, but you can actually change the look and feel of your Moodle to whatever. I found that this afterburner is really fast my profile settings edit my profile Yep, prefer theme after burner. See that? Look at all the profiles that you guys can choose from. Magazine, my mobile, letter bound, fusion, form factor, any one of those. Brick. I don't even know what brick looks like. Update my profile. So when here it is. This is the brick theme. Okay? I picked the afterburner because it was really, really fast. So, you guys can pick whatever you want. It's exactly the same content. Does that sound familiar? All you have to do is change the cascading style sheet. And immediately the whole navigation, color, style, look and feel changes to that theme. It's pretty cool. <coughs> so go and pick your style go and pick your theme I'm sure say but what I was saying was I'm going to publish for this week I'm going to publish the source code for Timex and that's exactly what you guys are going to be have to deliver next Sunday now this coming Sunday next Sunday okay Uh, so three things that's what's due the following Sunday you guys have to download WAMP, LAMP, stack, whatever depending on your um, machine architecture and operating system and read jQuery those are the three things that I need you to do for next week are there any questions the same version of my website, which is version 4, which is going to be due the following Sunday. From now on, I know you came in a little bit late, from now on all your assignments will be due Sunday midnight. That means you have an extra two days to work on it. In JavaScript and JavaScript menus. 
No, no, no. The registration that it's you guys are turning in s this Sunday doesn't have to have any validation or or cool calendar date picker or anything like that. But it does have to have what I shared with you a week ago. Have you seen it? Okay, that's it. It's Timex website version three. Which widgets? Whether you want to create your own JavaScript code, doesn't matter to me. Okay, but you have to have the registration validation. You have to have a date picker, and you have to have JavaScript menus. Not for this Sunday, the following Sunday. 